Will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended to heaven, but he who came down from heaven, that is, the Son of Man who is in heaven. Verse 14 says, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever releases him, him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. It's a very uh, uh, beautiful teaching of our Lord. He's trying to, to explain to this. He's talking to a teacher of the law. A Pharisee, very knowledgeable man. He says, I'm speaking to you on natural things that you don't understand. How will you understand if I speak to you a spiritual thing? He comes and says, listen, like in the wilderness. Now, the Pharisee was very familiar with that passage in the wilderness, the people of Israel. There was a time uh, when, uh, when the people of Israel murmured against God. They always had this thing of murmuring against God. That and Moses, and Moses had to deal with that issue all to the 40 years of the wilderness in the desert. The, the issue of murmuring, murmuring against God, against Moses, against everything. And when they murmur against God, God sent a very poisonous, fiery uh, serpent. And, and uh, this serpent was, was so little that people started dying by, by the hundreds. All over the camp, just think of a camp of 3,000 people, or 3 million people, 3 million people, and people dying everywhere because of their disobedience. They were bitten by these serpents and, and they, they, they died. So they came to Moses and said, Moses, we need help. You need to do something about this situation. People are dying. My son died. My husband died. My wife died. You know, my children went out to the desert to play and they're, they died. They're dying by the, by the hundreds, by the thousands. So the Bible says that Moses prayed. Moses prayed to God. And God gave instructions to Moses saying, make a serpent, the same way, a fiery serpent, and uh, lift them up in a bowl, in a stick, and everyone that sees that serpent will be spared from death. So Moses made a serpent of bronze, and uh, he lifted the, lift the serpent up in a high pole, so this Hundreds of people to see. It. And the thing is, this, this is what the Bible says concerning that. That when someone was bitten by the fiery serpent, all they had to do is look at the pole, at the big pole, where the other uh, bronze serpent was. Nothing happened to them. No, no serum. No medication. It's just the act of looking at that serum. And so Jesus tells Nicodemus, this is how it is. As that serpent was lifted up in the wilderness, so the Son of Man is going to be lifted up. They didn't understand what he was saying, but later on they understood that Jesus indeed was lifted up in a cross. And um, Jesus became sin for us. Jesus became, Jesus was despised. Jesus was rejected for us. And he was lifted up in that cross. And all of us were beaten by 
by the serpent, Satan, and we're destined to die in our sin. And on that sin, death, and then eternal condemnation. However, when we look at Jesus, and we, when we believe in Jesus, and we, when we look at that cross, and believe in that cross, we have eternal life. Thank you. 